Tube. Welcome to another episode of, well, my Floss Tube. Uh, have you missed me? I've missed you guys a lot. Um, it is the 25th of October today. It's Monday. Um, hello and welcome to all the new subscribers and Hello and welcome back to all of you who keeps coming back and giving me support. It is very appreciated and it's always a joy to see you all and get comments from you all. Uh, this is a channel about cross stitching mainly. 99.99% um, .99 cross stitching. Um, yeah. I'm a Swedish girl, just enjoying this wonderful hobby and also enjoying being a creator on Flosstube. So, um, first of all, I want to say thank you to the person who bought me a coffee. Uh, I haven't gotten any reply back if I could mention the name. So I'm not, but thank you very much. It's so appreciated. I know some of you have, who has given me coffee has said thanks for uh, things I have showed, techniques, stuff, how I do stuff. So that's very appreciated. I'm very glad that um, what I do and show can give you ideas or help you in your process too. Uh, and everything I have learned more or less has been through floss tube. So it's a give and take and that's just great. It's, I, oh, I love it. Um, and so I have gotten some stitchy kindness. There are no words. I mean, uh, there are no words. Kylie and JD Brown, I think she's called Yoda Stitcher on Instagram. You two are just too sweet and kind. I, as I said, I, I have no words. Um, such surprises. I will not show you Kylie's surprise because we have a deal, her and I. I will show you more in the coming month or months. Um, big announcement, so uh, keep your eyes up, out. Keep, keep your eyes open. <laughs> so I will tell you more about that. But Kylie, you are just, Mwah! I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And DJ Brown, girl. <laughs> oh. In the month of August, we had the Common Thread Stitcher event and I participated. And at the same time, uh, we had the, um, the expo. I think it was in August, right? I think so. And one of the days we were going to post, which was, were our most favorite expo releases. And the one that I remember the most and the one that I like the most, because I like humor. Um, I like being serious too, but I like humor. Laughs are what keeps me going forward a lot in the daily life. And it was hissed off. And shortly after, and I, I said, you know, I will have to wait until these patterns, you know, are released in Europe. It takes some time before they arrive. And JD Brown, she wanted to surprise me and she did. Because she gifted me my favorite expo release, hissed off. I was so happy. I threw 
everything away and just no I didn't throw it away I threw everything aside and kitted this up and stitch started stitching it the same day she also added something else a very nice surprise another pattern from M designs I have never heard about this designer before maybe you guys have I don't know I like the look it looks a little bit uh, a little primitive I think and this chart is called five cats and a canary canary again language and there is this pattern with the five cats and then you have the big cat and it's chart number 118 it's so freaking cool I I don't have any cats I, I have grown up with cats and had I had cats for many years before I met my husband and he's allergic to cats so I can't have cats that's why we have dogs yeah and if you hear somebody uh, barking and growling it's Billy um, I love it and here it says which things you need and I'm telling you I have never heard of these threads before simply shaker sampler threads never heard about them but there are um, what you say a conversion to DMC and anchor and then we have sampler threads never heard about them and then we have gumnut yarns daisies I don't know and this thing was stitched on on an R&R &R production and I think those fabrics are pretty hard to get by I think but that doesn't matter there's other fabrics out there but I'm going to stitch this one too and if I'm not keeping it myself I'm definitely gifting this to my sister thank you so much and of course both with Kylie's surprise and DJ Brown's they had put in some very nice very nice letter and card and I cherish cherish uh, I cherish cherish that very much um, it's not often you get something handwritten these days this is the card from JD Brown and that's from hands across the sea samplers with a small pattern on the back I feel not worthy at all um, I wish I had a million bucks I could give back what I you know give back in cross stitch what I feel you know by oh, give you back so much so thank you both so very much now <clears throat> <laughs> what are we going to talk about today and I know the last time it's I'm, I'm a week late I'm sorry I've just I'm having a low time uh, yeah I'm not gonna talk too much about it but I have my ups and my downs and I'm learning a lot about it now lately maybe it's because I'm getting closer to 50 and all these things are happening to me I don't know but I get low <laughs> really low and I don't feel like doing much when I do that I have to go to work I have to take care of my child and I stitch to to recharge uh, and that's all kind of what I do if I could I would just lay in bed and stitch so I don't have to stay up after work but um, so it's kind of the reason why I have been delaying this time around as well 
but hopefully it's getting better soon. And I love doing the floss tube and I love talking about cross stitching. So doing it and afterward, I'm going to feel wonderful. So um, we are going to, I am going to show you my whips, which are quite a few because I have seriously been stitching kind of what I feel, what I want, whenever I want. Um, and it has been like Halloween, it's Halloween month. So it has been a little bit Halloween themed. I didn't stick to all my plans, which I mentioned the last time. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and I have a pile here with a lot of haul. It's been building up since summer. And I just feel like I just want to show it. Just stick it in my face. I spent too much money on cross stitch stuff. Don't do that. Um, and so I can just pack it away and not see it anymore and feel bad about it. And then we're going to talk a little bit about plants, of course, which I hardly ever stick to, but we're going to talk about them. And then we have some quite a few shout outs today. So that's the plan. I hope I'm not screaming. I feel like ah, up here a little bit. <laughs> I guess I'm usually like that when it's floss tube time. Okay. Whips. Yes. So I have my planner and this is um, a planner I saw Sisuk, Sisuk Stitch show on her floss tube some time ago. I think it's two years ago. Um, so I have, have this one, it's going to be, it's ending. So I'm in the, at the end of the, the calendar and I'm switching it out to the book of days. I can't wait. I've ordered the book of days through, uh, cross stitch boutique hand. Oh, it's the, it's the Netherland uh, store. Um, which I ordered it from and I ordered, you know, the book with all the stickers in. So I'm getting into that rabbit hole a little bit. Uh, anyway, so I have written down a little bit notes to stick to. Um, so December and I have had already decided long time ago that in December I will stitch on my quick stitch spooky house and to save me some time from um, editing. I don't know if this is going to work because I have the ring light. So yeah, you can see, yeah. So this is my quick stitch spooky house. I'm sorry about the ring light. You just have to, yeah. And <clears throat> you see the little fox there. Um, so it's a quick stitch, uh, but <laughs> so it's, it's a cropped part of the big treasure hunt bookshelf and that cropped picture has been enlarged and then uh, put in as a max color situation. So it is very, very detailed. So cool. So that's my Halloween piece because it looks, can I turn up the light a little bit? I don't know. Because it looks a bit spooky to me. So that's my Halloween piece. Mm -mm -mm. And so this quick stitch is 625 stitches wide and 447 stitches high. So it's a regular size, but it's a quick stitch. And I'm stitching it um, on 25 count, the magic guide. And I'm using one strand full crosses, one over one. I need to put my coffee over there so I don't hit it. 
and I'm extreme cross country stitching it. So all the black is done. And the next color in line was 823. So that's what I'm working on. I still have a week left. It's, uh, well, yeah, it's so big. And I can't <laughs> see what I'm showing you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're not gonna see a lot. I'm so sorry. I don't know how I will ever be able to show you all the full coverage pieces. Um, yeah, I said it the last time, you're not going to see a lot because it is extreme cross country stitching. So you won't see like images. Um, and I'm having it on my, you know, very long Omanic frame, the largest one they have. Will it stay? Maybe. Um, so I have, that's the only, no, that's a lie. So that's like the main focus I've had for the whole month and there's still one week left. So I will finish all the 823. Um, I have stitched over, just over 8,000, maybe 8,500 stitches so far. And I have, how many have I left? I have 2,248 stitches left in the color 823 to go. And I was hoping to finish that today because I'm off work today. But since I'm doing the floss tube, it's not going to happen. But I will finish it this week for sure. And then I will set it aside. And I can show you the pattern keeper. I don't know what's better to have it in the ring light or on the side like this. Yeah. So I have over 10% done by now. So that, that is pretty good actually. So that's the main thing. And the artwork is Amy Stewart and the um, charting has been made by heaven and earth. Yes, Halloween. I joined the Halloween cell from Casa Senina, the Italian uh, handcraft store. Um, it's like the place I buy most of my cross stitch stuffs at the moment because it's just too expensive getting it from the UK and the States, unfortunately. And where did I put that? Ah, here. So the sale was in three parts. It started in the middle of September. So you have seen the first part stitched up uh, in my last floss tube. And then there was one release the 1st of October and the third and last part was released on the 15th of October and I have a finish my year's second finish and it was a very simple stitch and I hope this is shown not mirrored so you can actually see that it says the dead and breakfast in and I made a mistake because I have no grid lines to follow here. So <laughs> I usually make mistakes then. Uh, over here, I have done something wrong. It's just one stitch. So all of this should have been one stitch closer, but you cannot notice this. You can't see that. You have to look pretty, pretty, pretty close to find that. I, I didn't find the mistake, so I don't know where it is, but so, and it's stitched on an, an 18 count Ada from Crafty Kitten, which she sent me by mistake when I was in the fabric club. Um, and I like that. It's very soft 
and nice. And um, now I have to fully finish it and I don't know how I'm going to do it. My daughter wants it, Mina, Mina. She wants this and she wants me to make it as a pillow. But I don't know how to make it as a pillow. Well, I, I think I have no problem sewing, you know, a back piece on it. But I want a pillow to be like this shape, you know, horizontal. So I don't know. I'm really bad at fully finishing. That's when my um, how can I say it? I have a hard time, you know, thinking, oh, maybe I could do it like this. I go to YouTube, I look something up like Vana, you know, um, the Wicked Stitcher, and I look at her stuffs, and then I can't just say, okay, I can do something like that, and I go get the materials. I am that kind of person who will get the exact same materials uh, she has, which can be not always the easiest thing to find in Sweden or it's expensive and I don't know which Swedish stuffs that are the same so it holds me back a little bit so that's that a finish Halloween stitch along style yes and <clears throat> since I've already showed you my hist off and as I said, I started it like right away. I will show you here without a glare. Look at that cat. He is so freaking cute. I, I love it. And this is, this is kind of my mood every day. Yeah. And so I have all my things here. I'm just stitching from stash which is great I'm so happy I don't have to go buy everything Ta-da! it's not finished but it is quite a quick stitch and I'm loving it I love the colors it's like a, a mintish uh, green background Oh, I love it. And I'm stitching it with two threads over two. I think this is, this has to be a 28 count, even weave. And it's uh, like a printed, something printed. It's from Etsy. I just gave it as a gift because there was some problem with the shipping and the order. So this is really nice. Um... So I need to, all I need to do is fill out his face with his eyes and mouth, nose and whiskers, and then everywhere around you have like which year I've stitched it and all the signs that he's pissed off and all that. This is the only color I sw switched out. It's, it's a 471 and I didn't have that by some strange reason. Um, I didn't have that, so I switched it out to 470. I said, well, it doesn't matter. And it's a bit darker green, so I think it will look even better on this. Yeah. Very happy about this. Love it. And I'm also like, I'm a little bit into maybe a pillow when I get to finish it. Or I want to learn to make ornaments so badly and do you know the lacing but just on small pieces like this <clears throat> so that's the next what else have i been working on let's do the outlander so yeah by the way his stuff is stitched. I, I've stitched in, I stitch it in hand using the sewing method. And the same thing with, uh, 
where is it here <clears throat> with the bookmark the outlander bookmark i also stitched this in hand and this is uh, i think it's three strands except the red which is what i've been stitching it's with two strands and uh, how i don't know how you get it to focus um, so I like to sit and stitch in hand or something small and simple um, like when I just want to go to bed but still I don't want to go to sleep so I've been working on this and then I need a sip of coffee I have been stitching on my Mirabilia, Lady of Mystery, and if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen my horrible pictures of her face. I was like, what the heck? Yes, it's Halloween, but I didn't want to stitch uh, Frankenstein on Mystery, you know, or Lady of Frankenstein. But this is how she turned out after completing, you know, all the stitching and the back stitching and yeah i'm not too happy about it but she she doesn't look like frankenstein anymore um and i finished all the skin now so i'm stitching that one over one the skin and the whole piece is stitched on a 28 even weave uh hand dyed by crafty kitten and yeah, I really want to finish her. I stitch on my Mirabilia every second Friday. Um, but since I was in her face, I didn't want to leave it to the side and then go back to it 14 days later and not knowing what the heck I was doing. So I kept on stitching on her for like two days, I think it was, so I could finish, finish the skin. So yeah it's okay uh, yeah it could be better but it's okay um so and so i said i stitch on it every second friday <clears throat> and the other fridays i stitch on my chatelaine 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 and yeah gotten some progress on this too I finished the whole center and yeah with the cross stitching and then the specialty stitches in the flowers and then I finished the leaves which are satin stitches I don't know how it shows up on camera but it is amazingly beautiful and I I just love it but I'm getting tired of being here on the top I want to finish this and so I can move move along but I love my shadow line I think it's quite okay stitching it every second Friday so I get you know a little bit of progress all the time I'm so afraid it's gonna get too dirty so and I have this wool you can use batting or whatever to uh, protect all the beading because I like to beat as I go hopefully they don't break what else my Chatelaine, by the way, is stitched on 28 count, if I didn't say that. Two strands, mostly, over two. And I bought the material pack from the European Cross Country, no, the European Cross Stitch Company. Uh, it was my first Chatelaine. So, uh, and it, it's a great piece to work on, really. And yeah, intimidating at, at first, but 
there's great instructions there are you know how where to start how to go about it and all the special stitches there are uh, pictures on how you do it there is floss tube you have the support group don't be afraid just jump in if you want to to try a chatelaine and there are smaller chatelaines you don't have to get the biggest one um halloween spooky mirabelle chatelaine outlander his dog and i have another new start oh yeah Oh yeah, I was waiting for this, really. Um, by the way, this, this is Poison Garden, if you haven't seen it. And I brought all the pictures so I could show you. I'm so sorry. Ugh. This is Lady of Mystery, my Mirabelle I'm stitching on. So, I only have, you know, her hair left, some of the flowers, and then this border around. So, she's almost finished. Anyway. <clears throat> so, pain-free crafts. Yes, another full coverage company um and i know when she started out many years ago i did get quite a few patterns i started one farewell to lothlorian she doesn't have that one anymore i know heaven and earth has it though um i started it it's retired for me too uh but i ordered a kit I ordered a kit and I made a start. When it came, I threw everything aside again. <laughs> and I was like, I'm starting this now. I'm starting this one now. I'm going to show you which one it is. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. This is Kraken Storm Dragon. He is so freaking cool. And I know I have seen these, these so many times before. But I haven't really, I don't know why, I haven't really like looked at what they cost. And these are very worthwhile. They're not huge. It's uh, 262 by 350 stitches. So for me, this is kind of a small stitch. And it has, how many colors did it have? 80? 70? I don't remember, but it's not like huge but there are still a lot of colors and he's so cool look at that face oh my god um what else 25 count one over one full cross um it was 75 pounds 79 pounds something like that not too expensive shipping not too expensive that not too much it came here goddamn fast and before i show you i knew sarah and simon they are some really crafty people and they're very skilled at sewing and stuff so i ordered one of the thread bags the project bags so this is my project bag for it they, it's hands made and here is the the label and I like this made in made in Scotland it says I know it's blurry and you could choose the colors unfortunately uh, they don't have Fraser uh, in the thin it's okay I still loved it. I, I, li I like, I go by the color and I have, you know, the threads in here. So this is the thread pack. I was going to open it on floss tube, you know, showing you what's in the package, but I couldn't wait. I just had to start it right away. And they have some really nice, um, project cards, organizers made 
with all the I like when there's two rings so you can you know flip it like this I like that and let's see if you don't want like a project bag like this you can you get a bag like this you can have the stuff in it which is very nice i ordered a needle minder which would go with it and it came in this nice bag with some tasty chocolate i didn't need the chocolate i gave it to my daughter but she said it was very nice and <laughs> i got the extra uh, threads uh, the black and 3371 and you get this nice card with needles there is five needles there's only four on this card because the fifth one is on the project and I got an extra needle minder but I think I have it out in the the living room yeah the only uh not bad thing um this uh yeah thing to close i don't know what it's called in english but in swedish it's called called boe uh it didn't stick very well to the fabric so that's the only too bad thing so you can close it up like this but i'm thinking i think even me who's not so handy with everything i think i could sew a button button yeah button on and sew a piece of uh, cord or something so i can uh, close it or i will put it in one of my big plastic project bags but i love this and i love when it's handmade like that you want to see the progress? You want to see the project? I'm all oh, hyped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know me. You are the only ones I can be this hyped with about cross stitching. You know, if I'm like this with my husband and daughter, they're like, okay, mom, did you take something today? Are you all right? Or with other people, they will just think I'm, I'm i'm weird but you know you know how it is i stitched on it for two evenings Ta-da! oh and the needle minder is so nice it uh, it's um just like the gecko rouge ones oh look at that can you see the claws he's like holding the glass it's so cool it's so cool i started in the middle and uh i started like just cross taking a thread and i like that when the threads are on paper organizers because they will break in the end if you you pull threads from it like that so i like to just um take one one thread of a color and finish it and keep on keep on keep on but it it came to uh, you know there were like this it looks like confetti it's not confetti but it was like boom, all over in the center and my mind can't do that with cross stitching i just uh, i don't it's difficult to explain i need to have this where i slowly build up something says the one who's doing extreme cross-country stitching but it's not really the same thing as this i don't think so so i i narrowed it down the next day to just like finish a square and park some threads you know so this one i could finish this pretty fast because you know it's in a 11 by 11 q snap it's not going to be huge 
and with the plans I'm thinking up you know this coming year maybe I would get a good progress on this I hope so anyway so freaking cool it's so cool I love the dragons oh I love them yeah okay calm down oh I want to show you the the needle minder too if it's possible I don't know with the glare and everything you see ah it's so cool did I say it's cool I love it and I'm gonna shout Ellie Welly Stitcher Ellie Welly Stitcher she's a fan of pain free crafts and she like Chris Dunn's art I like Chris Dunn's art too but I have I've been looking at them a lot they're so cute I like you know you could build a whole fairy tale around these designs but they're very they're not like colorful uh, but there is one and Ellie has this one is called the feast and I'm like oh god damn I want to get that kit like today but I calmed down I said well you just got your first or well my first in many years kit from pain free crafts maybe you should just calm down a little bit and stitch on it for a little while and then you can save up and get the other kit because it's not so expensive breathe Linda breathe <laughs> Um, I think I might be stitching on Kraken for a little bit after I'm done with the color 823 on my spooky house. Yeah, that's for sure. Let's put this aside. Hey, that was my last whip. Thank goodness. Oh yeah. Checking my notes. Yeah. <clears throat> so my back is killing me. I'm like, I'm, I'm sitting in front of a computer day in, day out because I'm a medical secretary and I'm sitting in front of a computer most of the day. And then I go home and I sit and stitch. So I'm like, I'm just leaning forward. Like, you know, What's that guy called in Notre Dame? The one with the big hump, hump. Yeah, I don't know what his name is. So when I'm sitting straight up, you know, I just get pain. Uh, okay, let's not whine about those things. Plans, I was thinking about that in the morning when I was sitting and stitching and I was like, so Linda, what have you decided to stitch on next week or when you're finished with the spooky house? And I didn't know. I don't know which full coverage I'm going to stitch on. I want to stitch on Once Upon a Fairy Tale. I want to stitch on my Animal Kingdom because I'm feeling so freaking guilty for not stitching more in it and I'm dying every time Kat shows her pictures because it looks so freaking good ah you know um and then I just get stressed out because I want to stitch on all the things which I can't so I don't know really plans but one thing I do know is I really want to finish my Mirabilia because I'm dying to start a new one and I'm dying to stitch a mermaid. I almost have all the mermaids and I really, really, really want to stitch a mermaid. So I think I will spend a lot of time on Mirabilia so I can finish her off sounds bad saying finish her off you know finish her finish stitching her so I can at least finish a Mirabilia this year um, I finished two last year so I should be doing this and I know that if I stitch like on a Mirabilia this one for a week I know I get a lot of progress 
but the thing is that what's left is the flower hair and the border which is just you know black and the Karen water lilies ugh, you know the name I can't pronounce properly <laughs> and I don't know and then yeah the the spread out beading there's the bead there and there and there one there and one there which is tedious it's tedious it's uh yeah I think I might get <laughs> not bored it's it's such a negative word but like unmotivated to just keep on like um my spooky house halfway through the month I was like I don't want to sit and stitch 823 anymore this is so boring I don't want to do it but at the same time I was telling myself well if you just work this through this whole month you will finish the color and you never ever have to stitch on you know with 823 on this piece ever again and then you have actually you have reached a goal which you have actually set so I took a little bit of a break I stitched on cray again and my um yeah, Halloween cell and uh the hissed off so I got a little bit of break and then I, I picked it back up and then you know stitching just one color cross by cross by cross it goes so fast um, so <clears throat> maybe if I stitch on craking a little bit together with Mirabilia and um, oh I have I have more things I can start I'm going to show you <laughs> in my haul okay I'm sorry I'm I'm really being myself here so this I sometimes forget that there is actually people on the other side of this uh, screen looking how silly I can be but this makes me silly it, it makes me become a child I'm sorry I, I understand if not all of you like that but this is me so so not so much plans but still I really want to finish Mirabilia imagine if I could finish her before the 1st of December that would be really amazing so that together with Kraken and some other starts I need to start all the things I want to start before the 1st of January because I'm a little bit thinking of it's going to be so difficult to say it I know I'm not going to keep up, keep what I'm saying but no new starts unless you know I finish something and I have it you know in my kit box that I promised to show you guys which I haven't really sh I haven't shown you yet I will make a film with that um, but not like no new heaven and earth starts unless I have finished something and still I don't want to start I, it hurts saying this but you know I need to take a break and try to get a little bit of progress of all the great stuff I have and saying you're not gonna buy anything next year well I'm still collecting my Mirabilias which is a big thing you know and it's hard it's very stressing but I, I am going to do that but I need to really I, I need to stop buying things and starting things and just do the things I'm doing okay <clears throat> uh, so yeah those are plans so yeah start as many things now so I have them started and I can concentrate on progress because I want to have progress I don't want half a page done a page done on all my stuff so I want seriously I want to start seeing my things they don't have to be finished I just want more on them all right and I asked Nikki in Nikki Croft about her rotation because I've said it before but she's like my real inspiration she is my idol I followed her and loved her stitching and the way she do stuff since I started with heaven and earth um, I, I want to stitch what Nikki stitch I want to stitch how she stitches it sounds crazy it does sound crazy doesn't it I'm not a stalker I promise 
<laughs> but she's a real inspiration to me and we have such similar taste so it just um yeah and i think she seems to be such a wonderful person and uh, i wish we lived in like the same country or something oh no this sounds like real stocks but you know i would like to know her you know and imagine having you know a st stitching meet up and just sit and talk with her that would be amazing yeah anyway i asked her about her rotation and she talked about it i looked at the video over and over i was taking notes <laughs> i'm so silly so um she had before she had she just changed her rotation a little bit so you know i should be talking about all this in a stitch and chat because this floss tape is going to be way too long but uh, she had like a two month rotation on different things and i will tell you more about that later on how she does it or go watch her video which i highly recommend um so i'm gonna try her rotation out and i'm thinking from the first of january because i want to finish my mirabilia <laughs> and I want to start all the things before I get into that rotation. So now let's stop talking about that. Let's do the haul, which is going to take way too long. If you don't like haul, th this is a jump ahead to the end. Maybe I should do the shout outs before. And then if you don't like haul, you can just, uh, you know, stop watching. Where did I put it here? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I have quite a few of shout outs. So DJ Brown, she has, I've mentioned her before, the nice lady who gifted me these awesome patterns. She has her own floss tube and <sighs> she's just adorable. She's adorable. She's really, you know, herself and just I, I love it when you're just yourself and sometimes it's all, you know, a little bit crazy here and there. And then, oh, it's just so true. So go check her out and you can find her on Instagram. And then we have one of uh, some, some, not a follower, it's, it's uh, We've kind of, you know, gotten to know each other, gotten connected on Instagram. Her name is Joe's Home. Joe's Home. Joe's Home. She lives in America, I think. Um, <clears throat> you know, talked, chatted a little bit back and forth, sharing pictures, you know, looking at each other's pictures on Instagram. You know how it works. And she has her own floss tube now really nice she is really showing whips kits her crafting room techniques go over and check her out and give her a thumbs up and start subscribing do that on jd brown too of course and nikki crafts um i will link you know all the people i'm mentioning i will put them down here in the down below box or down under box, yeah. Um, so Joe's home, new floss tuber, head over and subscribe to her channel. She's also completely unedited, unedited herself, and she has very cute dogs too. Yeah. Um, and then Ellie Welly Stitcher. You guys have to go over to her channel. She's stitching full coverage pieces, the pain-free pain -free crafts. She's also a member over at this is Dizzy's Stitcher's Facebook group. If I just calm down a little bit, I'm able to pronounce the words correctly. Really nice. She totally enabled me. So check her out. Oh, and I didn't write his name down. Damn it. If you remember on the Mirabilia Facebook group, Mira Mira on the Wall, I'm sure he's in other groups as well. No, not, not there. Um, a guy, he stitches a lot of Mirab Mirabilias, Mirabilias and he has made a lot of them and they're beautiful. 
and he has just done his two first um, floss tubes. His name is Dune X Stitch. This guy, Dune X Stitch. X -Stitch. I hope I remember to, to link him as well. And it was JD Brown who told me, you know, go check this guy out if you like Mirabilia. And I recognized him right away because I've seen him a lot on the Mirabilia Facebook groups. Excuse me. So now we have four ladies. I think all four of them are members in the Stitch It Tears uh, group, the Dutch girls, you know. And they had a challenge within their group. Anyone could join. But uh, they had it in their group and I was like finish a, I think it was finish a heaven and earth this year. And I know at least four of them has finished now. So you have Debbie from Creatively, Cre Creatively Yours. She finished her Amy Stewart. Uh, I don't remember the name, but it's like a gyps gypsum lady with a fox. She finished her just some weeks ago, I think it was. And you have the rocking stitcher. She has just finished her so many books, so little times. Oh my God, you guys go over to her channel and go to Debbie's channel too. Um, and then you have Juanita. I haven't watched her video yet, but I saw that she was showing her piece. So I know that she has a heaven and earth finish as well. And then you have lovely stitches who finished her autumn fairy which is also the heaven and earth. Such beautiful finishes. You guys, if you like full coverage pieces, if you like heaven and earth, you have to go and check out their uh, finishes. And don't forget to subscribe to their channels when, well, while you're there because they have a great taste in stitching. Well, a lot of you others do too. But you know there's different categories so like Pam and Steph from Just Keep Stitching. I love to watch them but they don't stitch full coverage. They stitch other things. Most of the things I would never stitch. But you know it's the you know just the thing between those two that you know that you have a lot of laughs and stuff so but the the full coverage stitchers out there if you have any um, one, you know, that you watch, like, for example, Darren in uh, Dizzy Stitcher, who also stitches, you know, full coverage stuff. You know, if you have any one you recommend, please leave a comment below uh, for me, but also for all the other ones to see, because I love watching full coverage stitchers, you know. And it doesn't have to be, you know, the huge ones. It can be the quick stitches or the minis or whatever. We love to see. We we love to, I love to, you know, give comments about it and cheer you guys on, you know. So please leave a comment if you have any one you would like to suggest. Now, that's all. So if you don't like haul, because I have a lot, just... Thank you so much for watching <laughs> and I will see you the next time. Um, yes, so um, I have been buying stuff, you know, for, for a while and just piling it up and really being ashamed of how much I've been buying because it's just too much. Really, it is too much. And that is also why I'm saying, you know, I need to have an ending and just start stitching and enjoying the stuffs instead of just buying them you know so <clears throat> uh i have a few heaven and earths oh i forgot that no it's my haul so let's do that i have a few heaven and earths that i haven't started yet which i want to start so some of them are just bought uh i got in the sale, 50% sale, I have finally gotten it. I got the stitching shelf 
and I'm starting with this as soon as my fabric comes and I asked for a consult on Instagram if I should do this on 28 count because I have 28 count at home but I know that there is a lot of confetti in this and it, I got the super sized max colors uh, so I decided to go with the 25 count so I've ordered some of that um, yeah so I don't have a uh, thread kit for this and then I bought another unconventional cross stitch which is Alice in Wonderland I mean how cool isn't this one and I got the max size there as well uh, how many colors are there in this I don't know I have no idea it doesn't matter uh, so those ones it's also hauled so I got those and I want to start them and then I was gifted you know the autumn by Josephine Wall I got it from Debbie I won a giveaway and I really want to start that and then Kylie had gifted me this cute little Randall Spangler and it's not so big I really want to start that as that as well and then I still have my Kincaid, you know, Autumn in Central Park. So those are the ones I need to start. And my ga gamer from Gecko Rouge. I will show you the kit soon. Um, so I want to start to those, get them started. And I don't want to kit them up. I don't want to go get all the kits. What's 130? I need to pick up my daughter soon. Um, so I decided I'm going to go back to stitching from stash. I had had before the whole DMC, um, collection. And then I started one of the bookshelves. So I grabbed all the threads from the collection. So now I'm missing a lot of threads and that's annoying when I'm sitting and stitching something and I run out of a color and it's not there. So I went through my stash and I just got the DMC threads to complete the DMC collection I have and then I'm going to stitch from that. So that means I probably won't be able to like park like I've done. I think I need to kind of stitch the color within the page and then s switch around. I think something like that. So I will do that on the ones I've just showed you. So that's what I got leave that up there i got myself another set of these cheap project bags for my full coverage pieces mainly um i can leave that out as well and then i have um what you call it the embellishment ki the kit the embellishment pack for the merchant mermaid and the embellishment kit for Anora Corbett. I totally fell in love with this little girl. Is she a fairy maybe? Yeah. Dewdrops. And there are some of the Blackbirds, Blackbird designs that I have uh, really, you know, been eyeing for a long time and I've just never got them gotten them I don't know why but I have just prioritized prioritized <laughs> other things and uh, then now I when Barb passed uh, I got scared that you know people like I did kind of went crazy and just got all the designs they wanted so I said well let's let me get the I think it's like four blackbirds that I really want so I this is one of them oh let me get it out of the plastic I really like this one and it's called the Halloween Eve of course Halloween Eve I love it 
So nice. <clears throat> so there's more coming with the blackbirds. Um, yeah, I think I've showed this one for a long time ago. It's the Rosewood, no, it's Ink Circles, Three Little Kittens. And I've kitted it up. So I got some linen and I've got some classic color works, colors for it. And I got like a yellowish linen for it. It's a bit stiff, so I don't know if I could, can I wash it, you know, put it, put it in, in water so it gets more soft or how do you do with stiff fabric? I would like to know before I start stitching on, stitching on it. Please leave me a comment below, please. Um, yeah, and then I have quite a lot of mirabilias. I've been, you know, just putting down. So this is the kiss. I got it cheap. And I have uh, the Midsummer Night's Fairy, very beautiful. And uh, Stitching Mommy has this on her wall behind her in her bedroom. It's really nice. And then you have the Twin Mermaids. They are so cool. And then we have, is this the Millennium Angel? Yeah. Put them there. And here's the Dewdrop girl she's so pretty really pretty i like how her feet are shaped and how the dew drops are coming there i like that and i don't like how they have the pattern here i don't like it but that doesn't matter and then i have a bella filipina my new passion i don't like all of them thank goodness but I like this one. And there, there's two of them. And then we have the mer Merchant Mermaid. And then I had a, an extra free pattern that came with something. And then my other obsession is Plum Street Samplers. Yep, I love them lot so we have rest a while oh, I love this one and we have the F words flirting falling is on back order so I hope I will get it soon and I'm very curious on which others F words they're gonna release and then we have the hedgerow the latest in the stack series and then we have the cow pile <laughs> they're so cute and we have the snort stack i have all of these you know all of them the gobble cob and the hen peck <laughs> so cute and i will probably you know when there is a flag american flag I will most likely switch that out to a rainbow flag or something else flag. So we have the big boot, big, big boot, big foot bunch. And we have the Yeti, the no, the abdominal, the abdominal bundle. So cute. You know, I could show you like this, but I'm sorry about the ring light. It is what it is. The Rue Crew. Yeah. So cute. I love it. And then we have the rack stack with the reindeers. We love reindeers. And we have the tired trio. That's like me, my husband, and my daughter. We are tired, tired, tired. Yeah. And it doesn't help now when it's becoming winter and everything just turns dark. Yeah. We have the cheap heap. 
And we have sweater. Sweater weather. It's so sweet. Halloweenish. Yeah. And then we have some Bella Filipina. I love this. She is so pretty. You can see uh, the Sharky Stitcher. Sharky Stitcher. She's stitching this one. I don't know if she's finished. I don't think she has finished it, but she has done quite a lot on it, I think. She's really pretty. And then we have Maria McKilling. I don't know. Oh, she's so pretty. Very, very beautiful. And we have the other Hanan deity of the morning. And you might ask, when, Linda, when are you going to stitch it all? Well, I'm not going to stitch it all. I'm collecting. I'm a collector. I think I've told you that before. Yeah. And, oh, yes, this is exciting. It is one of the latest, not the latest, one of the later releases from Hands Across the Sea samplers. It's the Annie Morrison, not Anne Morrison, but Annie Morrison. It's a very small sampler. And I, to me, it's a bit of a special colors because there is purple in it. For me, that's, uh, I don't know it's, if it's usual. They usually have that in. Uh, oh, never mind. I'm getting tired. And here, there's only five colors. So I liked it a lot because it's small. I like the small samplers quite a bit and how they frame it with big frames. And um, I'm very, I would have been, I've been curious of the new printed booklets. And then Nicola said, this, since it's just five colors, you know, uh, soy, I'm gonna stitch it with soy one, 103. Soi, soi 103, I don't know. I, I've heard, I mispronounce it, but um, since there's only five colors, it's not going to be so expensive. It is a little bit expensive if you, I think it's like, is it eight, nine dollars for one, um, what do you call them? Yeah, for the threads, for one thread. But she said, Nicola, if you want to try this like for example on 56 count this is a perfect sampler to do it because it's small there's not so much to stitch and there's no specialty stitches it's just full cross stitching i don't think there is any back stitching either actually and uh well who doesn't want a challenge so i said yeah so i've ordered the the threads from that store in the netherlands so I'm waiting for that. And when I got that, I will then decide which fabric to get. But I will get the 52, 56 count because I want to try that. I want to, you know, torture myself. Yes. So, and look here. That's one. I got a, one of those cards as well. And there's a little pattern on the back, which is nice. Oh, and... Ellen Power Stitcher, Power Hour, Ellen with Power Hour Stitcher, something like that she's called. When I started watching her a long time ago, in her, wherever, wherever she's sitting, if she, it's in the kitchen or in the living room, I don't know, but on the wall behind her, she has inspiration stitched up. And the first time I saw it, I was like, what is that behind you on the wall? And she said, this is inspiration. And then she gave her pattern to Betsy Clagans not too long ago. And then I saw that Steph from Pam and Steph got it. And I was like, holy moly, I need to get mine now. Because when the big floss tubers get their patterns, maybe a lot of others do too. So I couldn't resist. So it's... Uh, I like the Rosewood Manor patterns. Uh, their booklets it's very nice and easy they're big and it's stitched with either DMC or anchor 
and it's how many pages? It's only 30 pages. <laughs> and I guess you're stitching it on, is it 40 count? Ah, 32 count. So you can actually go down to a 36. Maybe not, because there's a lot. No, never mind about that. But it's really nice. And the more you look at it, you find all the beautiful details in it. So I couldn't resist. And I love Rosewood Manor. Yeah, we're getting to the end. Um, let's pull this out. Uh, I don't know why I got this, but I got some fabric. Some 32 count dark blue spruce for some reason. I don't know what Mirabilia I bought. I was thinking maybe I should stitch that on. I have no idea, but it's always good to have fabric, right? So we have some more Mir Mirabilias. We have the Mermaid of Atlantis very pretty there and then we have the the Le Niveau sampler yeah the glare I can't help it and then I have an out of print which is the garden versus she's so pretty And then we have Circle of Friends. Very lovely, Mirabilia. And I got the second latest, the Botanical Garden with the beads. Because I don't know if I am going to stitch it or not, but I got it. And um, in my last How I Do It video, I talked about how I choose fabric for my Mirabilias and I noticed afterwards the funny thing that I showed you picking out fabric for this one and the first one I picked was like a yellowish fabric and then I also showed you some fabric you know which should you I talked about it anyway if you want to see how I choose fabric and how I use the fabric viewer program for choosing head over and watch that video if you're curious the thing is this is the fabric I picked on fabric viewer it's the same it's called uh, angel dust from pole stitches and I think in fabric viewer that she looked perfect on this yellow so if i'm stitching her i'm pretty sure i'm gonna stitch her on this I, I thought that was kind of funny so so i got some i wanted to try out some hand dyed fabric from pole stitches and i have another a couple of no one Oh, I've showed the other one oh, some time ago. I have the Feast of Friendship. I love this one. I love that blue house. And the blue is stitched in all kinds of different colors. I thought it was a variegated thread. But it is... Well, it has to be gentle art. Um, thread. I love this one a lot. And I got, um, I want to collect all the cheap sheep virtues little, from Little House Needleworks Gratitude. So the Night's Watch from uh, Blackbird's Design, the Hallow, Hallow Eve, which I showed you just before, and then the F Feast of Friendship, and uh, What Remains is Love is my four 
Blackbird's designs that I really love. And the project bag that Becca uh, from Stitchy Becca in Sweden made for me as a Stitchy Kindness, she surprised me. I showed you it uh, last time. Or was it the time before? Uh, perfect for my Blackbird project. And it was like a special release. Um, I don't know if it was only traditional stitches in Canada who got the, the design. And I was like amongst the 100 last people who got the sixth and last batch. And I was like panicking. I was like, what the hell am I thinking? I'll go get it now. <laughs> And the, the story behind the sampler is very uh, moving. Um, it is... Uh, Barb has designed it and she wrote, My grandkids have been on my mind so much lately. While I was stitching, I discovered the story this sampler began to tell me a story left for my grandkids long after I'm gone. It's simple. It's simply this. I love them so much. Hence the stitch words, what remains is love. And that is, you know, the important thing when we lose loved ones and you pass on that what remains is the love you have for each other. So I thought that was very nice. And I got the, the floss ring with a charm. <coughs> and uh, unfortunately it's weak style works, but that's uh, what the kit contained. I hope it will be okay to stitch on. And then we had some new threads. I went with the silk pack. What time is it? I can't miss picking up my daughter at two o'clock. This, oh, I can't wait to start this one. <laughs> Look at the threads. Oh, they're so delicate. Ooh, I'm afraid to use them. It's called, it's fibers, fibers to die for. And then I throw it on the floor. What's wrong with me? Beautiful. I can't wait to start it. And yeah. So that's that. That is also going to be started before New Year. Yeah. Everything is searched. Now ready to go. And it's so perfect to have it in this project bag. Thank you, Becca. Now, the last thing. <laughs> The gamer, the gamer, I need to pull it out. This is why I fell in love with Gecko Rouge. She is so freaking cool. Again, go to Nikki's channel and see her finish. Oh my God, I see I've been on it for one and a half hours and I got the printed and the digital pattern. It's a little bit of extra for it. And I got the needle minder. <clears throat> and when I saw, it's 25 count. When I saw the size, I'm <laughs> like, my god it's so small which is good no no problem at all it's also searched and ready and then you have the awesome thread pack yeah 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 you know gecko rouge stuff 
you know, you want to get a, a kit from them. You have to try it. And you have the needle there, the glue did there. Uh, I don't know if it's one or two. And then you have the project cards in there. So this is really nice. It's 25 count. It doesn't say how many colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this, I'm counting and it's the, you have the numbers there. Duh. So it's 18 and... Oh, no, I can't count all that. I think there's like 90 colors. And I have some thread organizers for this. So this is getting started as well, but I can't make up my mind if I should start in the middle or if I should just start in the <clears throat> top left corner. But if I start in the top left corner, that means all the background. And I don't know if I want to do that. Decisions, decisions. So that's all the whole, thank God I've finally showed you all. I'm so embarrassed I have so much, but I love my cross stitching. And what can I say? Now I've talked so much, so my throat is like, uh. <laughs> so yeah. Um, if you want to support me, uh, there's uh, a link to my buy me a coffee. Uh, the money I get from there goes straight back into the channel. Sometimes I use it for, you know, getting some for something for giveaways. Sometimes I use it for buying Mirabilia or cross stitch stuffs, which I show you here on the channel. Uh, watch the ads. That helps me a lot. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done that. Hit the bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. Um, give me a thumbs up. But most of all, leave me. Please leave some comments. I love to read them. I love to reply to them. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I will do my very best to answer them. Um, I think that's all. Thank you everyone for watching. Now let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching.